Hello, beautiful. Today we're watching some people attempt to cut a bob on themselves. How are you gonna cut a bob on your own hair when you can't see the back of your head? <sighs> I would say I hope they do well, but I just know they're not going to today. I'm probably gonna be a little disappointed, but let's see. Maybe I'll be surprised at um, some of the results. Up first, we have a video by Heather Hughes. I think I'm gonna get my hair cut today. This is how long it is. Okay, whoa. All right, she, she was like, should we do it? Should we do it? Yeah, I'm gonna chop the whole thing in like a matter of two seconds. Love it for you. For me, I don't know. She has very pretty hair. It's so thick. It's so luscious and it looks so healthy. I'm excited for her to have a different look though. It's a lot of weight. It's a lot of hair. Hopefully she puts some layers in it. Hopefully she doesn't just give herself like one chop, but she probably will. I think we're going here. Imagine if I just took these scissors like right here and just was like, oh, oh. I highly messed up on this one, I've gotta say. <laughs> First of all, was there a plan at all? I'm just wondering, like, was there any kind of like thought of like how you should do this? Cause it kind of just didn't look like you planned anything. You just kind of like chopped something, which makes me really nervous for the rest of the cut. <laughs> and secondly, I would highly recommend washing your hair before you do a haircut and cutting it wet. It's just easier, trust me. The hair clumps together, it falls to the floor, it's easier to clean up and it gives you a better result in the end, you know? Last time I watched like a tutorial, so I know how to do it now. This is a tutorial on how to cut your hair at home from someone who has cut their hair at home once, now twice. Don't follow this as a tutorial, any of you. Hopefully you won't. At this point, I don't put anything past anybody because the things I've seen over the years. <laughs> Surprised I haven't dropped dead yet and just like from everything. First, you have to part your hair. Definitely don't mess this part up. This is what we got. Is it crooked? Yes. I feel like I need to cut the front one as well because now it just looks weird. Way too short. No. Stop grabbing pieces and just cutting them. There's so many tutorials of mine that show you how to do these things. I actually don't think I have a bob one. You can do a lot of my tutorials and make it into a bob. We gotta section the hair. We gotta put elastics in. We gotta make sure everything's sitting in the right places. And then we can start cutting, not before. We got the front done. Now we just have to do the back. Oh, so we are getting a technique here. We're progressing slowly. We did a little shock moment in the beginning, but we are now doing sections. So we are putting the elastics in and that is great. I love to see it Let's see if she manages to cut on top of the elastic instead of below the elastic because y'all love to cut below it And let that hair fly everywhere and it doesn't make any sense to me This is what we got here our like four sections. Okay, there's an issue going on. Does anybody see it? Basically when you do the sectioning in the back of your head You need to make sure that you are putting the elastic in the way that the hair lays Okay, so if it lays this way, you're putting elastic back here You're not putting elastic in over here you're not pulling the hair and over directing it because what's gonna happen is Everything you over directed from the very back of your head is going to be super long If you over direct it this way and you lay it back down It's gonna look like a V in the back and she's going for a bob not for a layered V thing in the back of her head. <laughs> I mean, maybe you are going for that. I don't know. The ones in the back are longer than the ones in the front. But why? Why would you want them longer in the back than they are in the front? Make it make sense. Explain it to us. Tell me. Oh, this is a tutorial. You take your scissors and you just cut it. What are those scissors? Those are not even gonna cut your hair. No! And you're supposed to cut like down like this. Words. What was the point of that? Who taught you these things? Because it wasn't me. Not this time. She's gonna have like a slope on the side of her head. Halfway done. I'm thinking it's highly possible. I went way too short. It is not long anymore. She's cutting below the f elastic. She's cutting above one of them, but below the other. And we don't want to do that. We're gonna cut above the elastic. Oh, I was not paying attention. This is so bad. You should. Probably start paying attention. Open your eyes because what's happening right now is not good. I literally cut it again. Okay, to be fair, I did a pretty good job. <laughs> you did a pretty good job? Where? Am I watching the same video? Where is the good job? <laughs> Sorry, but like honestly, where is it? Oh, I did not do a good job. This is so bad. Okay, I highly messed up one side. One side is like two inches shorter than the other and the back is like just like I thought it would be. This is gonna be difficult to fix. 
I just needed to stop with the scissors. I don't even know what to say with that one. Did she just chop that? Can we replay that? Like, what is she doing? What was that? Look at all this hair. Let's see how bad the back is. Is it bad? Just like what she said, it's definitely not good. Oh my god, it's massively crooked. Let's go back to my number one rule to make. Don't cut it too short. I'm so sorry, you guys, but there is no happy ending to that video because that is where it ends. I don't think you should ever do that again. Ever in your entire life. You should see a professional. There was not one thing that I could say that I was good about that haircut, to be honest with you. Um, oh, well, you did section. But this results, mm -mm, not for me. Up next, we have a video by Janessa. Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm here with my boyfriend. He's gonna cut my hair. Okay. Well, this one's not quite a DIY. It's a I don't know, I was gonna think of like an acronym for like your boyfriend does it, but like boyfriend is going to help apparently, which is good. I like that better than people just doing it themselves. Your boyfriend can see the back of your head. So that's good, I feel confident. Also, really interesting hair texture you got. It like looks as if it's straight on the top and then you have curls on the bottom, which I've never seen in my life. Usually the opposite, like there's more heat damage on the bottom and it becomes straighter. So I'm excited to like even out this texture that's happening and just cut off those curls. You know, just something. That's how long my hair is. That's so long. That's your shoulders. Um, maybe like here, yeah, like right to my shoulders. And she's cutting it to her shoulder. I don't know, these just, <laughs> scary. I wish we could see the back right now, but I already know what's going on. Like, he just pulled all the hair behind her and it's just cutting a line across, which is a way of doing things. But when she pulls it forward, she's gonna have this A-line bob like this. Not something that I'm a fan of personally. If you guys like that, go off, do your thing, have fun. For me, A-line bobs are dated and a little bit strange. She is so confident and cool during this whole thing. Like, how is she so, like, sitting there just so secure? Like, uh, just cut it. Just do it. <laughs> oh. What is that piece? Neither of them notice that there's, like, one little straggly hair just long as hell. Like, what is that? I feel like the back is really short. It is kind of short, but it looks good. Okay. <laughs> Yo, it's so short in the back and it gets so long in the front like mm -mm. <laughs> what is going on in the front i think that he's trying to layer the front of her hair with some angles the way he's doing it is by putting little steps into her hair and with a bob like you don't really want angles in the front of your head like it doesn't really make sense kind of ruins the structure of the bob and doing it like that is going to literally create actual like <laughs> layers not like I think she's going for like face framing, like feathered, and that's not gonna give you the effect you want. It looks good. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, it looks cute. Okay. She's trying to be a supportive girlfriend, and the boyfriend's trying to be a supportive boyfriend, and I appreciate it. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna interject a little bit and just say, it's not quite there. We should all just do things that we're good at. <laughs> and hair cutting is not one for you. The stress has set in, but she's still committed to it. Look, she's going for round three now. She's like, all right, you know what? Whatever you say, I'm just gonna sit back down and shut my mouth and let you do your artistry on my head. What do you think? My question is, what is that long piece in the front? Why is it all lined up and then we got a long piece just hanging there? It keeps getting worse. So my hair looked really bad. Even though it was long, it looked really bad. I was going to kind of like shape it out and like add some layers. Why are you taking chunks out of the front of your hair? We don't want more angling. Like she now has like this rounded fringe thing going on with a bob. It's getting wild. Okay, so that's the end result. Mm. We're going to a salon next time, okay? Do you promise me, please? <laughs> please? Listen though, you look beautiful. No matter what hairstyle you have, you still look gorgeous. Also, the way you styled it in those end pictures, I'm so happy you did that. It looks much, 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 much better. And it actually looks like you 
purposely cut it like that. So I think in the end you got a beautiful look and you look stunned. I'm happy for you. But um, yeah, that was so scary. <laughs> Next time, follow my tutorials and then we won't end up in these situations. We need some texture in there. We need some thinning shears. It's a lot of hair. It would be much easier for you to style too if you got rid of some of it, you know? Thin that thing out, babe. Up next, we have a video by Megan. I've been wanting to cut my hair for a while because it was getting kind of long. And it's not like that it's like super long. Like obviously it's short. Something's telling me I'm having like a, like a vision. Something's telling me you are going to ruin it. It might be the title that says cutting my hair gone wrong. That might be the indicator. Or I can see into the future. I'm probably gonna be using these little kid scissors. I'm sorry, what? You're gonna be using these little kid scissors. What part of cutting your own hair makes you think that little kid scissors is gonna do the job? <laughs> what part of it? Come on. Oh my gosh. We're doing the same technique as the first girl. Just taking a piece and chopping it off and just hoping for the best. It's kind of choppy, obviously, because I'm the one cutting it. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be choppy. Definitely gonna be chopped off since you're just taking pieces and just chopping them up. How low should I go? Should I go like to right here? Sure. I mean, listen, at least give us a show if you're gonna do it. <laughs> Don't close your eyes while you cut it. You know, if I can make one suggestion, it would be to look while you cut your hair. Look in the mirror. Don't close and cut. And I don't feel like I have to explain the reasoning behind that one. I remember I did this like a few months ago. And I just wanted to cut my hair. Woo! Wow, that's pretty short. Honestly, it's not that bad though. I'm not sure about that one. Do you see this? Like, it's like half, and then like, I cut like a lot of inches off. You went for it. You just cut like four inches off of your hair. I mean, honestly, she's really, really going for it. I have no idea how she's gonna cut the back of her hair. You can't use that same technique of like pulling a piece and cutting it. You're gonna end up with like all kinds of choppy sh in the back. What's the plan? Okay, so like this side is basically done. I don't know if I should go shorter or not. I'll decide. I'm gonna decide for you. I'm gonna step in here. I'm gonna say, don't do that. Choop, 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 choop. Yo, I can hear the, <laughs> the fact that those scissors like are so dull. Like you can hear it. And she's trying to point cut. Everybody always tries to do point cutting and none of you have ever done it correctly. <laughs> I don't feel like anybody is going to do it correctly. So let's just leave the point cutting to the professionals and just, you know, do what we can do. You know, let's not go too far. Okay, so now to this side. All right, let's see if she can make the other side the same length. Probably not, but I'm so mean today. I'm sorry guys. I don't mean to be so harsh. It's just like, I'm not seeing a lot of good stuff happen. Gosh, this is taking forever. My hair is like thick. <laughs> it's like really off. How did you manage to make it that off? Please be the same length. It's getting worse. Oh my god, oh my god. It's okay, we can fix this. She seems still very hopeful after she just demolished her hair. I don't know if I can fix that. I literally am bald. Like, as you can see, you can't see like all the layers down there. I just don't know how it looks on the back and I don't want to see it. Let's try and fix this. Oh, gosh, I hope I don't mess up. Honestly, it looks even. Now we just have to see how it looks from the back. What is that thing in the back? It's all a disaster. I'm honestly happy she can't see it because I don't know what her reaction would have been. Okay, I think it looks pretty uneven. I haven't seen it yet, but I can just tell by like feeling it. The front is also not even. What happened there, babe? So I'm gonna cut a little bit more. I think I got this. I'm hoping this turns out like decently good. Just stop cutting. I think it's pretty straight. I don't think I did too bad. I still haven't seen the back or seen how it looks. I hope it looks okay. Somehow she loves it. Listen, you do you. I'm happy you're happy. Objectively, I don't think it's a good haircut. There was a lot going on there. I would just love to see some layering in there. We need to thin that hair out. It's just sitting so heavy on the bottom. With some shape to it, this bob would look spectacular on her. The hair sitting down here, it's too chunky. It's too big. It's blocky and it's strange. But I'm happy you love it. Again, I'm happy for you. Not for me today. That was torture. Wow. That was 
something. I'm still stressed out from all those haircuts, but I will recover. That's all for today, guys. Make sure you guys check out my hair care line and my hair color line linked below or go to xmodohair.com. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.